today was round two of the uh, sorry second game of round three, and I'm going to show you three critical uh, games which I believe are the major updates of this round. As expected, the favorites have gone through like Magnus Carlsen has advanced to the next round. Uh, Peter Swidler had won the first game of the match against Jordan Van Forest. In the second game, Peter Swidler almost had the draw. Like he has a very uh, end game ish position with very few pieces. And here, Peter played f6, reacting to the check. The correct uh, move would have been king g8, which would have kept things in the balance. The problem with f6 is now. And Jordan played the correct condition. Knight d6, activating the knight. Knight e5, and now f4. Knight moves and e5. The king becomes open, so knight takes knight, pawn takes, and now the d-pawn is too strong. Rook f7 and h3. Before uh, getting his rooks into the 7th rank, first he makes space for the king and uh, prepares g4 for later. Pawn a5. So black tries to exchange a pawn, create a pass pawn here. And here, Jordan just ignores that. Just plays rook d1. Preparing to push the pawn even further. right? And now queen d7. And here takes, takes. And king h2. Getting out of the back rank. And here rook comes up. So doubling the rook. So the play is very simple for for Jordan Van for us. It is still around equal though. Like it's, just, it's an advantage, slight advantage for white. But black is still doing fine. Rook b7 still fine, and here rook came in, queen c6, and rook rook had to jump in. I mean, rook uh, jumped in, that was going to happen. So black had to react to it. So how does he react? He goes rook d7, which is also the correct response. So takes, takes, and now rook d1. Keeping the queen stuck here. If the queen moves, then d7 and the white wins. So it's a very nice move, rook d1. And this is where Peter uh, collapsed. He had to make waiting moves, basically, which is very difficult. h5, queen d5, h4, and then push the pawns. The problem is, uh, here, black cannot move the rook anyway. It's suks one. Black cannot move the queen also anyway. I mean, Peter must have thought rook can move. Queen is stuck, rook can move, right? So he played rook f8, but now the white rook just jumps in. So what was the correct continuation? I'm curious, actually. After h5, what if white just waits? How much longer can you make pawn moves or king moves for that matter? Probably king move, the rook will jump in. So king move also is not possible. So it's almost complete suk swang. So what if I go queen d4? What are you going to do? How is it not winning? The engine just says uh, queen d8 or king h8 or b4. b4 giving up the pawn. Wow. So the queen gets freed and now rook comes to d7. Some kind of defense, but uh, this is also losing. I mean, it's tough for it to win this. I mean, tough to win this as well, but, but let's go back. What else is the engine saying? Instead of b4, what if queen d8? Yeah? This seems like the most uh, uh, logical defense, but then still it's it's a good position for white. So it's already tough, but what Peter did, rook f8, made it easier for white because now Jor Jordan plays uh, rook c1 and now rook c7 is the threat. Rook f7 back, but just rook c7 anyway. Queen moves and just queen a7 here. Peter Swidler resigned. So now the match is going to tie breaks. Tomorrow we're going to have the tie breaks to decide who is going to round 4. Here he resigned because f7 is hanging and uh, it just lost. d7 is coming and then the pawn will prevent. Okay, the second big update of this round is this game where MVL got eliminated by Sindarov. Sindarov in the Global Chess League uh, got checkmated in one move like at the end by Jonas. Right? Here, Sindarov is a very strong player. And here, if you see the position, it was a crazy opening. You can go through the game uh, uh, yourself. So basically, uh, MVL had sacrificed an exchange for... Uh, when sacrifice an exchange, but now he has got uh, sorry, sorry, here he has sacrificed an exchange, it's a knight for a rook, but he has got two extra pawns as well. And here, MBL played knight takes, which is apparently a mistake. So, it's so difficult to see what is the right move here. Apparently, you have to develop your piece bishop d2 or bishop f4. 
is the correct response. So Knight takes Queen. He, the problem with Knight takes is Sindaro played a brilliant move here. He didn't take back. That's not the problem. He plays Rook takes A6. A beautiful move because if Rook takes Rook, then Queen takes and when King moves, it's mate. Back rank mate. Because the White Queen has gone here on an excursion, the King is weak. Just mate. So, White cannot take unless he wants to get checkmated. That's a problem. And if White can't take and the Bishop is not developed, Rook takes Rook is going to happen. And if you play something like Rook B1, then what will happen? Hmm, or Queen B1. So, let's say Rook B1. Means to Queen B5, yeah? Oh, sorry. Not Queen B5. Knight stopping it. Just Then just take the Knight apparently. How is this winning? What if I now develop the Bishop? Wow. It's an exchange up for black. And black is just going to play rook takes knight. And the position is just crushing. Queen takes and uh, rook f6 is done. Okay, so let's go back. In the game, what happened with rook takes? Here, g3 was played and it's already completely lost. The other response would be queen b1. Yeah, that is another thing to consider. And then just takes back and white squeeze are again totally stuck. So uh, after uh, rook takes a6, MBL just played g3. He was totally shocked here. And uh, Sindaro played queen b7, another brilliant move. Still, rook takes rook is not possible because it's mate in one. So white, he played a check, king moves. Still, you can't play rook takes rook because it's still mate. I mean, yeah, it, it's not mate anymore, but the queen's hand. Yeah. So queen had to take, queen takes g7, and now rook takes rook. And white is up by... Something like a rook. It's two rooks for a knight and bishop. So he's up by two exchanges. This is the row. So knight check. The king has to run. King comes up. Brave move. That's the best move. What is wrong with king d8 though? King d8, queen f6. No, oh, so it's so accurate play by Sundaro. And now if rook e7, queen h8 plus. And when king moves, bishop jumps in. Yeah. Or queen c3. Yeah. Queen c3. So, some kind of reputation is possible there. So, Sindaro correctly plays king a6 because that avoids all the checks. Now, the only check is this, but the knight hands. And you can't really do that. Nah? You run out of pieces. So, knight check, king moves, knight f3, and just rook takes c1. Okay. Oh, by the way, the bishop was pinned. So, bishop check was never possible in those lines. Uh, if bishop check was possible, then it would have been made for the blacking probably. But yeah, bishop was pinned and was gone. And now, just rook c4. Queen takes and uh, rook e6. Everything is defended. There's nothing to play for. It's a lot of material extra. So that's how MBL got knocked out of the World Cup. And um, Maxim drew the first game, lost in the second game. The third big update was the new 2700 on the live rating. The new India number one. Gugesh D uh, defeated SL Narayan in the second round, second game of round three. First game was a, a draw and this was a win. So, it was a very nice win by uh, SL Narayan. I'm mean, sorry, by Gugesh. Can you see what he played here? He played a move that's extremely brave. Knight to c6. Extremely interesting to see. Knight to c6. Giving up a full piece. Giving up a full piece but, but uh, gets bishop into d5. Knight hanging. And now when the knight moves, bishop takes. But you're giving two pieces for the rook, right? But wait, bishop takes, the rook can't take. Queen would be hanging. So Gugesh has either prepped all this. No, he's down on 18 minutes. So it's all found over the board. So bishop takes. A very nice move. How long did it take to play knight c6? So he must have already seen all this. So it didn't take too long. And bishop d5. So here SL played knight b4. Knight e5 would have kept the knight a little more active. So knight b4 and now takes, queen has to move. And now the rook is attacking the queen and then the bishop comes back. So basically, Gugesh won an exchange by doing knight c6 move. A very complicated move, a very deep move. Uh, a GM kind of, like super GM move. And uh, he just went on to convert this. Takes, takes, queen takes, bishop e3. It, it's just an exchange up. He plays rook c5, just centralizes all the pieces. And here, while the okay, black just took the queen and uh, took the pawn, allowing the exchange of queens. And white just uh, plays rook c8. And here, SL resigned. You lose a piece here. Yeah. 
So Bugesh with that one move, knight c6, just uh, turned the hold position into completely winning. So those are the main updates of the uh, third round of the World Cup. And tomorrow we are going to see the tie breaks in some of the, in a lot of the matches actually.